Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. John Mulaney denied speculation that he and Pete Davidson did drugs together. He always supported my sobriety warning. Some discussions about drug use. As part of John Mulaney's new Netflix special Baby J, he explained how a mishap with Pete Davidson resulted in a nurse at the rehab center he was attending, waking him from a drug-induced sleep for context. John attended rehab for two months in 2020. His Netflix special has many stories about his drug use and subsequent sobriety, while demolishing his nice image. My good friend Pete Davidson starts calling me. Yes, that. Pete wasn't he at my intervention because he was out that night. But now he s landed, he found out I am in rehab and he s worried. John recalled, I don't he know why, it s his travel. But every month and a half I get a text from Pete, and it says, yo, this is Pete, new number, and I am like, send a photo to prove it. For a long time I kept saving him as Pete Davidson, at one point I had 9 Pete Davidson saved on my phone, John continued started saving him under fake names of famous people, just to mix it up. For a while he was saved on my phone as Rodney Dangerfield. The week I went into rehab he was saved on my phone as Al Pacino to what John was saying on the phone, he said sheepishly, oh man. I am not doing so well. Oh, yeah, nobody is gonna blame you. That he and I did drugs together because he has tattoos and I am nondescript. We must be up to witchcraft. I never did drugs with Pete. He always supported my sobriety, added John. Pete was on the run he s also open about going to rehab, and even joked on SNL in 2017. I went to rehab, and here s some tips. Never choose the rehab you want to go to while you re-high because I have, I done, 